Hello, this is Warlord. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at a couple of things. We're going to take a look first at the AML template, the Sit Here template. I'm going to show you how to use it. I've done this tutorial before, but I still get a lot of email on it. Uh, mainly because it's a billboard and kind of hard to follow. So we'll take a look at that. And we'll also take a look at why things tend to jump around in iClone. And that's a very simple solution to that as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now I've loaded the indoor stage from the indoor and outdoor product, and I've just uh, deleted the image layer. And I've loaded Gwen into it. So what we're going to do now is use an AML template. So let's go to Set, Props, and under AML Templates, you will see Operate Dummy. What we're going to use is the Sit Here Chair. There's a Sit Here Floor and a Sit Here Chair. So we'll drag it into the scene. And even though it's pretty self-explanatory, this uses a billboard, which means you never really know what direction it's sitting unless you watch this red bounding box, the little red corners. Now I'm going to show you what I mean. In order to use one of these, you highlight the character, go back to the template, right click, go to operate, sit down. Now she's not going to sit down in the right direction, even though it looks like it's pointed right. Okay, now we're going to solve this little problem. So let's go backwards, control Z to undo, make sure we're all the way back to the beginning of the timeline. And we're going to turn this. Now you don't see it turning, but you can see that red bounding box kind of turning. So let's turn it like this. And what it's doing is facing me. And so now we're going to do the same thing. We'll select her, go to here, operate, sit down. And now she sits down properly. Now our hands aren't right, but we can solve that right now by going into the Motion menu, Edit Motion Layer. Now if you have trouble using the mirror key, unclick it and move it one at a time. It can be a little tricky. But in this case, we'll just use the mirror key and we'll move both at once. Now I'm not going to say this is going to be a perfect pose. You'd want to spend more time. But you can see here the basics of this is pretty simple. Now we'll Control D to toggle off our dummy. Talk about the visibility. The dummy won't be rendered either. And she'll turn around, and that is actually a lot easier than trying to do that by hand. You can also use camera cuts, and there's something else to be said about that. If you do not need to show a character sitting down or doing some mundane motion that does not add to the story, then perhaps you shouldn't, shouldn't show it. Perhaps you should use a camera cut. But this is available to us. But now we have another problem. She's not quite sitting in the chair, what I would say naturally. Actually, the chair is too big. So let's take a look at solving that little problem next. Now let me show you what I mean. She, this chair is just a little bit big, and it's one of the reasons that I chose it. You can see here how far back we have to go just to get her head to touch the back. So what we're going to do is just shorten the chair. But the method we're doing this is going to create another problem for us, and I'm going to show you that too. Now I've selected both chairs because we might as well have them both the same size. So let's shrink the chair. And let's not make another mistake by moving the character back. Let's move the chairs forward. But we've just introduced a new problem here. And that is that I did not go back to the beginning when I did that. And now these chairs are going to slowly go into place. Because this timeline down here is active at all times. There's no way to shut it off. So if you don't go back to frame one, you're going to get a morphing effect. Now it's simple to solve this. Real Illusion gave us a way to solve this. You make sure your past where where everything where you want everything to be like you want it. In other words, we want these chairs to be this size. Then with the chair selected, we're going to right click and we're going to remove animation. That'll remove that morphing because what that actually was was two uh, transpose keys. And what we did was wipe them out and there's nothing for it to come between. So now, as you'll see, nothing else is moving. She's walking, turns around, and sits down. But again, I would recommend using camera cuts before you actually show the mechanics of the scene unless it's needed to bring the scene forward. I hope this helps.